He's trained cutting horses for 30 years. From about 1970 to 2006, he was he had 20 head of horses in training, going every weekend, big age events, and just going all the time. And then he got his uh, his customers got out of the business in 06, and he's been he's slowed way down since then. He's actually started riding some uh, working cow horses and uh, doing the snuff a bit stuff. And uh, he hadn't been tra training so much, but I think that riding them snap a bit has kind of put the fun back into it and it's got him wanting to ride horses again. And just being around that, coming up in that lifestyle and being around my grandfather who trained horses for all his life too, that taught me a lot, a lot of little things that uh, helped me to achieve what I've achieved. Probably when I was a year old, was the first time I got on and been around them all my life, but I didn't start showing until I was probably nine or 10. Yes, I do. I showed, a, I showed an old turnback horse. We called him Tom, but his name was I Not Know. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't go too well as in the results, but heck, I had fun. Just, this, whole, this whole deal is about helping people, having fun, meeting new people, making friends, and just helping everybody to be their best. Once you go out there and you practice and you, you take care of your business, and when you get down here, it's just having fun and letting it happen. You can't, you can't do anything else now. Uh, his name's Boo Lou Cat. He's owned by John Little John. We call him Lou. He is 10 years old. Uh, a man in California trained him named Richard Anderson. And uh, my dad was uh, hauling with Brody Bieber. Uh, it was three years ago. And this is the horse that Brody was showing. And uh, John bought him. And uh, I've had him, we've had him for about two years. and. I mean, I, I've known the horse, and this, these past few, two years, I've actually gotten really know him, got a chance to ride him, get along with him pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah it's it, it, yeah. I mean, I can't really describe it. When we, when we first got him, he didn't have a whole lot of personality, but now he's just oozing personality. I mean, he's laid he laid back a lot like me. And, likes treats. I mean, if you give him one treat, he's going to knock you down wanting more. So, I mean, you got to be careful not spoiling. There are a few that just do this to high school rodeo, then there are some that I see all the time. And I mean, it's just, just like rodeo, I mean, you grow up, I mean, grow up with these people, you meet them, they're friends forever. And I mean, you help each other, you root for each other, and it's just the way it is. Uh, in the first go, I, I tried to keep my expectations pretty low and just go down there and just try and get a solid run down, take care of my business. On my first cow, I was a little late getting Holter out of the herd. I didn't set it up too well. She wasn't too good a cow and got off there as quick as I can. And then on my second and third cow, I did a lot better job setting them up and they were really good cows. And that's probably the best he's been in a long time. Uh, that, that's the goal. I mean, uh, I thought. I mean, I want. I want to do something nobody else has ever done. Set a record nobody can break. Yeah, I mean, anytime you win anything and you come back, they know that you've done it and they're going to be gunning for you. We, we, I mean, I want it that way because I, I want the people to gun for me and make me be my best at all times. Because, I mean, I, I want to be my best, and if if I'm not at my best, I don't want to win. I want them to push me and make me do what I have to do, do the right things to win. Any anytime I can go get away to the golf course or go hit the lake and fish a little bit, I, I jump at it. I mean, because it, it, people know me, I'm not a serious person, and I, the, the more laid back I am, the better I can be. Just be yourself and don't place too much emphasis on it. I mean, you've definitely got to want it, you got to work for it, but once you get up, once you get back in the box or step, uh, sit down on that bull or walk down to the herd. You just got to let it go and hopefully things work out. And just surround yourself with good people. Good things happen to you. If you if you can stay consistent, there's going to become a time when it's going to kick in and you're going to go to heights that you know that you did. you're going to exceed your abilities. Hopefully, go to college, probably at A&M, and get a law degree. Hopefully, practice law. Uh, like shout out to my granddad, Owen Hightower, for teaching me everything I needed to know and being there for me all the time.